Hello everyone, welcome to IPU TV. I'm having here the Deputy Speaker of Chile and uh, Chairman of Middle East uh, portion of the IPU. Uh, welcome, ma'am. Welcome, thank you to be in the TV IPU. Would you mind just uh, telling us uh, what is the motto of IPU and your country about human rights? Because, you know, uh, human rights are being uh, are being humiliated all over the world. Well, for us, IPU is an important uh, institution with all the parliament of the different countries. And it's very important to uh, see and defend the human rights. Chile was a country that was uh, 70 years a dictator, and uh, many people died. And we have to to work very hard. I was uh, 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 taken out of the country. I have to leave another country uh, that years with my child because my family is the family of the president at that time, Allende. And uh, they, go in, they put me in the jail and they put me out of the country. But my friends, my generation, is most of them died in that time. Many of them we don't see where they are yet now. So for us, the human rights is so important. We have to defend the human rights and defend the democracy. You in Bangladesh have the experience no, to uh, defend your independence. Uh, you have a grand leader that uh, showed to the people of the Bangladesh that the first of all, is to be a country, democratic country, where you have to work to have all the people that can go to the school, to the university, and have the human rights, the first things in your things of the world. Because human rights is not only to defend the person. I understand. I, I totally agree with you. I mean, uh, definitely it's, it's really important for uh, democracy and a nation. But by the way, if uh, I mean, what is the situation in your country, and what do you think about the whole world uh, about the climate change? Because you know, the, it's, it's really, it's really horrible. It's really a matter of concern nowadays, and most of the causes of uh, of this thing is uh, man-made. I mean, the scientists have found that uh, it's a, it's a, the main cause is man-made. So how can we get rid of that? Well. Uh I think that the global change of the climate in the global is uh, very preoccupied for all. Uh, because uh, our country, that is in the South America, uh, is uh, the country that has the more uh, yellows, how would you say, glasses, the bigger glasses. Uh, and now, with the change of the climate, they began to derrite, to, to go convert in water, uh, that things, two things. First, that uh, our country is the principal residuals of uh, yellows, uh, glasses to be water for the world. But the other things, that when they come out to convert all in, in law, that began to be the sea more upper, yes? And they are going to go to some Iceland, here near, here to the uh, uh, Asian Pacific, that is going to be in about the fifth, uh, five and zero, <laughs> 50, right. uh, 50 years, right. that they are going to be down the water. Right. So we have to uh, work very uh, hardly to have the conscience that we have to protect, yeah? our uh, countries the, to protect the climate, the, the change of the climate is similar to uh, rights, uh, human rights, because it's the future of our world, the future of Jewers, the, the young people, that is going to change your life because it's going to be no water, it's going to be a change in the climate, so many of the products that came is going to be, it can be uh, uh, being to 
have uh, your aliments. Uh, it's very difficult. Our country, Chile, uh, now we have a change of climate, very, very uh, important. Uh, we have rain in the time that the fruits of the trees come out, and that goes down. So we are changing our climate to produce our fruits. That can, we, is one the important export to have money in our country. And it's going to be very difficult for us, that climate.